Where is it? Yeah. And for the mole crab, let's feed some mole crab. Where is it? Behind the pink. Oh, do we think that mole crab's gonna molt? So this saltwater tank has been through many changes, from saltwater fish to freshwater fish, from brackish fish now to fully saltwater fish, and other creatures in here as well. Speaking of which, I do see one of them right there in the middle of the screen. If you can see, that's a gorilla crab hanging off the back of that rock right there, and that's actually a hitchhiker from one of the live rocks that we purchased from our local fish store when we built our recent coral tank. There he is. Look at you. We had a big one of these for a long time. However, it got stuck in its molt and it got devoured by its tank mates in the other big tank that we have. Goodness, so this one will now replace that older little, oh, I hope we get a good shot of it. Can you come out a little more? Let's drop some pellets in here and see if any come out. Where is it? What are is we looking molt? for? It's a gorilla crab molt is right behind this green. Let me see. Oh, I can see it in the back in there. Yeah, right in the middle, in the shadows. So he's probably freshly molted this little guy. Let's see if they're hungry. Let's drop a couple pellets in here. All right, sink, sink, sink. Mm, he's making a move for it. Look at these little mole crabs. Some of them have their little feathers sticking out where they can catch zooplankton and phytoplankton with. And these feather-like catchers look just like this right here. Look at it. See them? He just put them out. Look at this. This little interesting mole crab right here is gonna go under the sand and they feed on all of this zooplankton and phytoplankton that we offer daily as well as some supplements that we use in our coral tanks. Look at that. Look at that little weird feather that catches all the food that drifts by in the current. Look at that. Such an interesting animal that's used so commonly as bait in the fishing hobby and these are known as sand fleas, but they're mole crabs to be specific. Now, sand fleas, they have a little bite to them. These guys, oh, look at them. Berry, berry, berry. Oh, that's so cool. The way they bury, we've had these guys for several months now, but I've never done a video on them. They keep the tank awesome clean. They live amongst some little minnows in here as well as some clams, and the clams are over here. The clams also have a similar niche in the same purpose of cleaning the water and cleansing all of the phytoplankton and nutrients that do float around this tank, but they don't remove too much to where the fish are left without anything. Everything thrives in this tank and the mole crabs play a sufficient role in keeping this tank an awesome ecosystem in which it is today. So I say let's feed some mole crabs and a couple fish. Hmm. Oh, the clams are out. They, they're, they're hungry. Oh yeah. You can see they're so weird having clams in a tank. You can see their tongues and everything. They kind of just, maybe one will dig. Yep, starting to shimmy under the sand there. Look at that. Holy moly. Do we have a mole crab? There's only one. But there's more than just one in this tank. I think there's three, four. There's even a baby one in here. Ooh, all the phytoplankton stuck to the bottom. No worries. And just a cap will do you. Mmm, drop and phytoplankton feeding time. Now it pretty much just hits the water and becomes dust. The little minnows, which I assume are mullets, love to shimmy and eat all the little poopy stuff off the walls. They're excellent cleaners as well as all, this is pretty much just a cleaning crew of a mini aquarium here. But the little clams, they love their phytoplankton. Oh, and the babies do too. Where are the babies? Where are the babies? There you are. There you are. Come back. Come say hi. And also there's a gorilla crab in here if you saw the last video. There's this molt right there. There's the gorilla crab molt. So he's doing well, he's growing, which is amazing. And also if you're asking where did we catch these mole crabs, these little sand fleas of a bait when you go fishing, we caught these at Shark Tooth Beach when we went shark tooth hunting. So you may want to check that video out. I'll leave a link at the end of this video for you guys. So you don't have to search for it. Just click on it and enjoy that adventure. Searching for shark teeth and we caught the mole crabs. It's a sick adventure. Don't miss it. Click it. Trust me. But wait. They can't just eat phytoplankton. The fish need a meal. And of course not a lot, but just enough. Feed. Feed. Why are you You're so small? Feed and enjoy it. Dinner or whatever meal this is for you. Whatever part of the world you're in right now watching this, whether you're eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner, these fish are eating their dinner. But wait a minute, in the last video there was two of you in here, 
and I just spotted the gorilla crab. Look at this bad boy. Look at him. He's right there hiding underneath this plant. There was two of you. Two were eating in this last video. What happened? There was two of you. There's supposed to be two of you. What the heck's your sibling? Was it you? Was it you, Mr. Mole Crab? Are you the culprit in the missing minnow? Or did you just get devoured up by that little gorilla crab of a beast? I don't know. What do you think? Comment below what happened to that little minnow. Could it have been this wild little crab? Because if you followed us since day one, you saw we had another gorilla crab as well, and that sucker was a savage. I think it took the tail off one of my sergeant majors too, because when these crabs are hungry, they'll go and eat anything. Oh, what a savage beast. Got this savage beast as a hitchhiker off some live rock as a bonus. So if you ever get live rock, and it's from the Caribbean, you never know. You could definitely get some gems on there that are either really good for your tank or really bad. But I love this guy, and I miss our old little gorilla crab. So this one was definitely a surprise that replaced something that was lost over here at A1A Adventures. But I still want to know. We got to look around this tank. Where the heck is the other fish? I don't know, Mr. Mole Crab, because if these crabs are on a savage fish-eating frenzy, I don't know if we're gonna find this other fish. This isn't a big tank where I can't find them. So tell me, please, Baxter. Baxter, where, where'd you go? So your other fish, did he leave a note? Did he just leave? Absent without a letter, he didn't even let us know. Oh, that's such an unappreciative fish story, I'll tell you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we just discovered this ourselves. We are now down to just one. I mean, come on, fish, throw me a freaking bone. At least let me see a fish on the ground, not just some sketchy crab looking sus in a tree. See, he's gone. Where'd you even go? Sus crab. And honestly, in a nutshell, I mean, that's it. These are the mole crabs, as you know, this is their mole crab emporium and tank, which is blessed only with bait that you typically would fish with right here, where others have been left for food. If there's anything else you guys would like to see us add into this tank right here, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see, what new fish, what new adventures. Definitely comment below, because we're down to just one fish. We started the mollies out in this tank, now they're in the bigger tank in AJ's room. We had our Baby puffer, the world's smallest puffer fish in this tank too. This entire tank is salt water. And don't mind the little freshwater plastic plants, but I had to add some decoration into here. And don't worry, our other salt water ones have live ones. But this tank right here is unique and we need your help. So drop comments below. What do you guys want to see in this tank? Not to mention, what should we do with these little mole crabs? Should we just leave them as a cleanup crew? I mean, I can't see fishing with these guys because I like them too much. And I like to take care of them. Pretty cool fish to have or invertebrates, shall I say. And when they do shed their shell, oh wait, it's moving. It's gonna move, what is it gonna do? Are you gonna flutter and flurry around this tank when you guys swim, which is a wild thing to see? Because you only see these guys bury a lot. You only see them burrow and bury in the sand and they have a very unique and odd anatomy as they have different little feather-like tentacles that come out, as you saw in the beginning of this video, that catch all their phytoplankton and all their food. Yet they do have two little claws in the front as well that apparently can be used to eat stuff and to chomp things up or maybe even defend themselves. If you know the niche and the role of their full anatomy of a sand flea, let us know, comment below as well. Because fish and their roles in the environment are so interesting and unique. If the fish want to live, that is. Then we'll keep adding to this tank. But until then, it's just some clams and some mole crabs. And all these clams and mole crabs and that one little fish. Where'd it go? Where'd, where'd, where'd you go? Where'd, there you are. Want to thank you for watching this video. And for the mole crabs and all the holes that they're going to dig. Want to ask you to kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure those post notifications are on or you'll miss if we catch anything else or add anything to any of our fish tanks. And as always, stay adventurous. A1A Adventures. And you don't want to leave without clicking on this video right here or this video right here. Trust me. Don't leave. Just click one. You won't regret it. It's more of this kind of stuff. I promise. And thank you.